this is uh, dr navin sundar from karnia university and uh, we are seeing the series of lectures in mapping techniques okay so in computer architecture this mapping technique is a very important topic okay so it is mainly happening between the cache and the main memory okay so already we have uh, seen uh, different types of mapping technique that is uh, uh, direct mapping and the next is the associative mapping and the next is finally set associative mapping so these are the three types okay so uh, today we will see about the set associative mapping already i have uploaded the other two types uh, kindly uh, subscribe and see the other two types of video okay and now we will see about the set associative mapping okay so the set associative mapping it is the combination of both direct mapping and associative mapping okay so that is the set associative mapping because the direct mapping what is the drawback we are facing is it is each catch line okay so the in uh, catch you will uh, divide it into n number of catch lines and in the main memory we will divide into n number of blocks okay so this is how we will call it is a block and this is a line okay so uh, in the direct mapping okay so some of the blocks which is associated with a single catch line and the next again it will be reserved for some blocks only got me point according to the round robin we will say okay uh, it can hold any one of the block like that we will reserve okay some of the blocks for the line okay so that is the drawback even uh, if any other block which is fill we can't uh, uh, hold the other block okay so we can't hold because it is reserved for for example it is reserved like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay so this is how it will be reserved okay so it can hold only the zeroth block fourth block or eighth block or twelfth block okay so this is how it will be reserved okay so that is the drawback if you are facing if any one of the block is filled we can't hold the fifth block into the catch line zero okay so that is the drawback we are facing in the direct mapping so in order to avoid that we went for the associative mapping so there any block can hold any catch line okay so but that is also a drawback we are facing there okay so even it can hold any block so it have it needs more comparators so we have to concentrate for more hardware the cost of the architecture become huge okay when we uh, go for the um, associative mapping so for each processor address length that generates it will go and check for all the tags in the cache so that leads to uh, cost effective right okay so the cost is more when we have in the associative mapping in order to avoid that we are going for set associative mapping okay so here there are restrictions but even in that restriction okay so we are making it into n number of sets so for example if you are having um 16 okay so if you are having 16 means if you are having a uh, uh, 16 blocks that is 0 1 2 up to 15 okay so if you are having 16 blocks so here we are making it into uh, sets okay so 16 by 2 if you are making it as like it is a two way associative mapping okay so then we are telling it as like two right so then you will have eight sets okay if you are uh, telling it as like a four set associative mapping then 16 by 4 that is four okay so this is how we are uh, making each different lines into n number of sets okay so this is how we are uh, going to do it here in the catch okay so in the catch you will have n number of sets so for initially it will if it is have four catch lines means each catch line we are making it into different sets okay so this is called set 0 okay and this is uh, set 1 and this is set 2 and this is set 3 so each and everything will have different sets okay so what we are doing here is the processor address okay the processor address it 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 will be like a 2 power 
uh, if it is a 6 bit means okay if it is like a 6 bit address means then you will have 2 power 6 that is 64 words it can hold okay so that is the old story okay it can hold the 64 words in the um, a main memory okay so if it is a uh, six bits how it is going to say, uh, store it okay so already i have explained in the direct mapping and associative mapping how the processor at the slam going and uh, check whether the word which is present in the um, main memory or how it can uh, go to the catch memory and how it will be uh, pick the word okay but here uh, for set associative mapping how it is going to make it so similarly for the uh, like uh, last two bit will be like um, um, block offset so it will be like a block offset and the first four bit will be like a it is a block number as it is a old story okay so all the value it will be like a zero 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 one when we convert into binary okay you will have like this up to 1111 okay so block number see for example if it is um, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, and uh, if it is 11 one, one, okay so if the processor if, if it makes an address length like this okay so this is a block number it will go okay so with that it will go and check with it is present here okay and the next is the block offset so as i told you each block can hold four words so either it can be 00, 01, 10 or 11, okay. So it can hold four words, okay. So this is the word, okay. So this is the word, it will be picked, okay. And uh, the processor will retrieve the word which is present in the block 0, right. So this is how the relation between the processor and the main memory. But with the uh, catch, okay, but with the catch, how we are going to do for set associative mapping, okay. So here how we are going to have it is again we are divided into three different parts okay the last two uh, bit will be called for word offset as it is uh, we have seen in direct mapping and uh, uh, associative mapping but the middle two which is belong to the set number okay belong to the set number and this one belong to the tag okay so this one belong to the okay a small difference we can see in the direct mapping there you are seeing in the middle two we will tell it as like a that is the catch line right and then this is the tag okay so here what why we are going for the set number is as I told you this will be set 0 and the set 1 okay and the next is set 2 and the next is set 3 okay so we are divided into uh, four different sets under each set you will have two parts okay so you have two tags it can have so this tag can be 00 or 01 or 10 or 11 here this is also 00 01 or 10 or 11 okay so see you will have uh, again okay so we are not going to restrict to any one but we are going to uh, have any one of these uh, two values okay so that is how we are giving uh, we are not resting to we are not restrict to anything okay so here as a set okay so in this set so it will going to check zero zero okay so it will come here and going to check with that and with this two uh, tag okay whether it is present or not so it can be zero zero can hold or zero one can hold or one zero can hold or one one okay so that can be present in any part of this particular tag we are not going to restrict it so we are going to have it in the set zero zero and also we are going to have this set okay so it is a two-way set associative so two uh, value can be kept here okay so here it is associative any of the four values okay either zero zero or zero one or one zero or one one got my point right so out of four uh, tags any two tags can be present in this location okay so that is the associative property and that's why i told you it is like a combination of direct mapping so it will go to the set number that is uh, like a catch line number we have seen in the direct mapping and then within that set we can store any two out of 
four different tags okay so that is we have seen in the associative mapping right so associative mapping according to it we can store anywhere okay so this is how we are uh, including okay so it, if it is a three way set associative it will make it into three different parts okay and again if it is a k way associative mapping according to it uh, what is our requirement according to that we can have a different parts and we can store it okay so this is how we are um, uh, solving the issue so so here what is the um, advantage of uh, going for set associative mapping here you have two tags okay so first itself uh, the processor will go to that particular set and the next is you will have two tags with these two tags alone you can have a comparator and then that will be matched with this particular tag okay so with that tag we can match it out and we can do it okay so we can reduce the cost okay but in the associative mapping you you need all the four comparators is required if it is a four catch line okay but here which particular set in that set what are the how many tags according to that only that can be compared so this is how we can reduce the cost when you uh, compare with it okay so it is the combination of both direct and associative mapping and also we are solving the issues of associative mapping by reduce the cost okay i hope you all understood about the mapping technique okay so